These are the pioneer theme of your character. He used to collect butterflies and he became a scientist. Can you believe it? We have to believe it. But with him there was his mother who was supporting him like So you see the legend, some part of the legend right now. So making of a scientist by Robert W. Richards. So he has focused on Richards and Robert. How he became the scientist and how he uh, proven the theory in the science department. So at the age of 22, a former scout of the year started a uh, scientific work with a new theory on how cell works. What he has given, this theory he has given, how cell works. Okay, that is, you know, our body is made of cell also. We have uh, cell, many cells in our body. And what he has, uh, what he has developed, he has developed the how cell works. Richard H. Bright and his college roommate explained the theory in an article in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, where he had published that in the magazine article that is Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Here, his theory has been published. It was the first time this important specific journal had ever published the work of the college student. Actually, this is a very eminent magazine. Okay, so where uh, such type of article has been published, which was written, which was uh, developed by college students. Actually, it, is a, it has certain great uh, importance. Then you know, the article of the college student have been published in that, has been published in that. So that was remarkable. Okay, so the first time he scored, and uh, that would be like making a big duty. At age of 15 and 18, who are home run your first time at that. It was like that, uh, some, you have started something and you have won it. It was like that. When they have got, a, you know, they have got an article in this uh, magazine that was the proceeding of the Latin Academy of Science. For Richard Ebert, it was the first in a long string of achievements in the science and the field. And it all started with the butterflies. And this was the first achievement that he, uh, his article got uh, published in that particular eminent uh, magazine. So that was the first achievement he had ever got uh, before uh, he became a scientist. Okay, and his uh, becoming, a scientist, becoming a scientist, that work started with the collection of the program. So that was a very uh, different one and very, we can say, mysterious one. As the only child ever read the book, not of reading. So, reading is the name of the village in the USA. Okay, so when he was reading, he was reading in the uh, reading. Parents were there. There wasn't much I could do here yeah. in that particular village. He couldn't do much thing because it was a very isolated village and he couldn't do much thing there. That is why he said that I could not do there anything. He said, I certainly couldn't play football or baseball because. If you want to play football or uh, baseball, you need a much bigger ground. And um, if you get, then only you can play there. Okay? He couldn't play there with a team of one, but there was one thing I, uh, one thing I would do correct things. So he was finding his uh, happiness in collecting things. Okay? Because as a child, you need something to do. Because you have much energy to spend. And uh, if you do not get that, you become so bored. But that is why. He couldn't play football or um, baseball, so he is just trying to put up his energy uh, in uh, collecting things. So he did and uh, did he ever? Not only that time only had been, but for many years he did that. Beginning in the kindergarten, the sketchy, a bright and butterfly with the same determination that has marked all his achievement. And when he was very small in the PG, that time we like to play with the toys or now we are playing with the video games in the mobile phone but he used to uh, collect some butterflies there he also collected rocks okay different types of rocks all this and coins also he has collected he has habit of collecting things okay we have habit of collecting toys if you see your small uh, brother and sister younger brother and sister they will not give you their own toy so they have habit to collect Toys, but he has habit to collect different different things of the 
nature. He has collected many rocks. He has collected fossils. Fossils means remains of the dead. It may be of um, animal or uh, plant. Then he has uh, happened to collect many things like a uh, coins also. Different type uh, kinds of kind of coins he can get uh, since many long era. He can get many. When I was very small at that time, I used to get 1 paisa, 5 paisa, 10 paisa, 20 paisa, 25 paisa, 50 paisa. Now it is not exist here. When our forefathers were there, at the, that time different currency was there. So, this is the, you know, some uh, different things, uh, antique things which can be collected. So, he used to collect coins as well. Mm, he became uh, an eager astronomer too. So, now he he was very small. That time he was not, uh, you know, very engaged in the uh, game and code or something uh, which is um, normally any small kid does. But he used to do something abnormal thing which was uh, developing him very rapidly. He used to collect uh, some rocks, he used to collect fossils, he used to collect some different coins and he used to collect butterflies as well. And also, what it is very here, uh, he used to uh, gaze at the sky also and he used to see different stars in the skies. He used to gay and he becomes very small, young astronomer as well. So you see that uh, from the first he had a uh, driving curiosity along with the bright mind. So we can understand at the very small age he has certain habit which depict about him that he is a great person. He was uh, always have the curiosity about the great mind. He also uh, had a mother who encouraged his interest in learning. So, one should be there uh, who can inspire you, who can guide you, who can direct you. So, for that, his mother was there. His mother was all about him all the time. She took him on the trips uh, for telescope, whatever required. So, according to his uh, hobbies, her, his mother used to give him all the things. His mother gave him uh, a uh, telescope, microscope, cameras, then mountaining material if he want to go out, he, can, uh, he used to get mountaining materials and other equipment and help him in many other ways. Because a small child, you need somebody to support you, somebody to make you understand many things. Then you can get more interest in that. You know that when you uh, started uh, first drawing, so that time you might have uh, been fascinated towards the sketch phase of colors. But when your mother or father or your teacher has uh, told you, taught you how to draw a picture by pencil and afterwards how to feel the color in that, so you got a much uh, no curiosity, much more you know, interest in that. And that is why you are drawing a great or beautiful pictures right now. So you need someone with you, then you can uh, come out with the bright color. So same thing happened with him, same thing happened with the Richard Abraham. Uh, he became so fantastic because of his mother. His mother was there who used to uh, understand him very well. He used to give, uh, she used to give him many things like uh, cameras, microscope, telescope because he has uh, happy to see the stars. So she has given, she had given her a telescope to see in the sky because he has certain interest in uh, astronomy as well. Okay, so he want to go out, she has taken him, he had, uh, she had taken him outside also for many trips. So she has given, she had given him many mountain material as well. So maybe it may consist of shoes, uh, some clothes, or anything like that. Some things also there. So she had given every sort of thing which are needed for good mountain. So you see, I was uh, his only companion until he started school. He said, "Mother, tell his mother." And you know that already I have told you that uh, when he was in third standard, that time he had lost, he had dropped his father. So after that, he was his only son. Her son was the only uh, her companion throughout his life. Her life. Okay. His mother said, "After that, I would uh, I would bring some." Uh, French morning, but at night we just did things together. And you know, the small kid uh, does like small companion. So uh, his mother used to bring some friends for him, but at night they were doing, both, both were doing the uh, same thing together, something together. She might have, she might have taught her uh, thing, different, different things because it was the initial stage of his life. 
and other equipment and help him in gaining the grades. I was uh, I was his only companion until he started school. His mother said after that I would bring some friend for him, but at night we just did things together. Richie was my whole life after his father died. Then Richie was in the third grade already. I have mentioned and Richie become Richie is Richard. That bride become her total whole life because nobody was there in the family when Richie's father. Had passed away. She had her son spend almost every evening at the dining room table. If he didn't have things to do, I found work for him because she wanted to engage him in some work. Suppose he didn't, uh, didn't have anything to do, then she used to find some different things to do, to learn, okay, for him. Not special work, but learning things. Not like that, she used to go to the market and bring something. Go here, go there, call out the aunt and all, nothing. It was different. It was not physical work, but something to learn. Because when you are very small, you have much capacity to learn something. And if we provide that, surely that child will nourish in a different way. Okay. So as he knew, and that is why he did it likewise. His mother said he liked it, he wanted to learn. And that is a very fantastic thing. Uh, for him, very fantastic thing, fabulous thing that that she the child wanted to learn, that bride wanted to learn something different again and again. He was not uh, different, uh, he was not a very ordinary kid, he was extraordinary kid. He wanted to learn something different. He doesn't want to only stay walking or play, he wanted to learn something that's understood and learn he did. He earned top grade in the school on every day, thinks he was just like every other kid. He Mother said, and he used to be, uh, do all things like other kids do, but he does something different as well. By the time he was in the second grade, a bride had collected all 25 species of butterfly from around his hometown. So, when uh, one boy, one kid in second standard, and he is collecting 25 different kinds of breeds or species of the butterfly, it's an amazing thing because. Till that day, he didn't understand what is butterfly or what is very more butterfly. But he has found out, he has uh, minute observation about the butterflies and he has found out around 25 species of the butterfly. So that was the uh, miracle uh, at this age, we can say. He, he did that at the age of second grade, which around uh, 8 years old, he had found around 25 species of the butterfly around his hometown, not uh, in many villages he has searched, no, around his uh, hometown he has found around 25 species of the butterfly, at least is given to stay for him. Uh, that probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting. And he said that because uh, he might have gone again and again to see the butterfly to collect more, but uh, he might have seen the identical butterfly, so he said that at the end he concluded that. So, these are the, this is the end of my butter to the collection of the butterfly work. He said, but then my mother bought me a children's book called in the Dwell of the Moon Objects. They see the key role played by his mother. What, what she had done? When he supposed, when he concluded that this is the end of my collecting of the butterflies, she had given the book to him. What was the name of the, the, name of the book? The Travel of the Moon Objects. X, one of his butterflies which come from the uh, outside. Okay? Travel of the butterflies. That book which showed how Munash butterflies migrate to Central America. They are the migrant um, uh, butterflies. They come from the Central America. Uh, open the world of the science to eager young uh, educator as a collector. And when he uh, was supposed to, supposed to stop himself, that time only uh, his mother had uh, you know, engaged him in a different way. Uh, she had given a book to him, and in that, she had given some description about the Munash, Munash butterfly, which comes from Central America. At the end of the book, uh, readers were invited to help study material, to study butterfly migration. And uh, when he had read the book, and then at the end of the book, there was written that to help study material. Uh, invited, the readers were invited to help study butterfly migration. They were asked to uh, thank butterfly for the research by Dr. 
Henry A. Uh, Alcohart of the University of the uh, Toronto, Canada. And what exactly did uh, Dr. Henry has told to, uh, from the University of the Toronto, Canada that they have to uh, tie the butterfly. They have to tie the butterfly and they have to send it out. So, whenever somebody will see the butterfly, they can send it to Dr. Henry. So, they will understand how much it matters. How many kilometers, how many miles it matters. That was the behind it. So, the event was attaching light, uh, identity tag to the being of the monarch. Anyone who found a tag butterfly was asked to send the tag to Dr. Uh, Henry. The butterfly collecting season around really uh, last six weeks in the late summer weeks. Late summer, six weeks, uh, they had they were used to um, collect the butterflies. If you are going to check them one by one, you won't catch many. Because you know that the butterflies are very delicate. If we catch it very quickly, it may you may destroy the life of butterfly. So you can't check it. Okay, so if you will uh, check one of the butterfly, you will not catch many, you will uh, catch in number. If you want to call guys cook, then so the next step the event was to raid the cook, cook of the butterflies. He would uh, guide the female monarchs. What he used to do? He, he used to do, he used to catch female monarchs, uh, take her egg and raid them in the basement to their life cycle uh, from egg to caterpillar. It becomes, you know, from the egg to caterpillar, then uh, pupa to a butterfly. And they, he would tap the butterfly's wings and let them go. Because he knew very well, he knew very well. So suppose I will uh, chase one of the butterfly. Then what will happen? I will not catch many. Okay? I will catch few. So he used to catch female butterfly and he used to store it, he used to send it. And the journey from the <coughs> egg to pupa, then butterfly in there, he used to tie the butterflies. Then he would uh, tie the butterflies in and let them go for several years. His placement was home to thousands of the monarchs. Several years, one thing or the game of uh, Few days, it, it, it was the game of many years. He used to tag the butterfly and used to send it to uh, out in a different stage of the development. Eventually, I began to lose interest in tiny butterfly. I think that small kids uh, must get some fascination, some interest, some uh, amazing, surprising things. Then only they can get attracted towards the same thing again and again. But it was quite boring work to do this. Because what happened? It is a very, very tiny bird and there is no much to tag. Okay, a bright, a bright term, say, in all of the time, I did it a lot. Only two butterflies that can tag were rejected. And how many butterflies for several years he did work, and only two butterflies he got the feedback from. And they were not more than 75 miles from the land. And how many uh, miles uh, they have traveled? They have traveled only for 75 miles. So, he didn't get that feedback from that, uh, those two butterflies, even though he has worked for the many years. Okay, so that is why he thought that I stop the, uh, I stop the collecting of the butterflies. The field will stop. So, what we have learned today? Today we have learned uh, the name of the place is the Millennium Scientist. We have talked about Robert uh, W. Peterson. Then what he did? He is a Millennium Scientist. Like then uh, I was author of the magazine where articles and books especially on scouting and sport. Then we have talked about the which is right, India learning, who is become scientist afterwards, he has made the theory of the cell, work of the cell, okay? Theory uh, uh, work of the cells. Then he took only son uh, when he was in first grade, that time he has lost his father. Uh, he has great interest in the collecting thing. He has collected the rocks, different rocks. Rock, then he has collected fossils, then he has collected uh, many coins, and better thing that he has collected many species of butterflies. He is an astronomer, so he used to gaze uh, at the sky, and that is why his mother had given him many things like a um, uh, telescope, microscope, then he has got some material of mountaining, many things as well. He, he got most, most support, support from his mother. Then because of his great work, already we have seen that he has got two awards. One is for the Cellulose for Record and the same for the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. And 
then we have seen that when he was in second grade, uh, that time he has collected around 25 pieces of the butterflies. And then uh, he thought that now my work is over, I will not get many more butterflies around my uh, there is uh, reading. Then he was about to stop his work, but uh, his mother had given him book uh, in that. Uh, it was written that uh, it is about a monarch's uh, ex. Okay. Uh, then in the, at the end of the book, it was written that Patrick uh, he has written that they have to the butterfly and send him. And then he found that if we will uh, catch, if we will change the butterflies, then he would not uh, catch many. So what he used to do? He used to catch the Munas female butterfly and he used to uh, keep that butterfly uh, in the basement for three years and then he used to uh, see the cycle from the lake to Cuba, Cuba to uh, take, uh, take stone caterpillar, then Cuba, then uh, adult butterfly. Okay, so that thing we have learned and then uh, he used to tap several years here work on that. But after the work of several years, he could find only two butterflies which he had tagged uh, as together. But like that, those two butterflies have traveled around 75 kilometers, 12 miles. Okay, that we have learned today in the first part of this lesson the making of that.